back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video, but I just wanted to start off the new year with what to grow in January. You can grow a lot of food in the month of January by seed. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide you a great list on what to sow in January in Central Florida in zone nine. So let's go ahead and start off with the list, starting with what you can plant that are green. We do have colder temperatures now. We haven't, well, I would say we got in the 30s, second to last week of November. We haven't had a 20 or 25 degree drop yet. We did last year in January around this time. So, you know, when it comes to those cool temperatures, you wanna grow things that can take the frost uh, if you do have one. Unfortunately, some people in Florida, like myself, do get a frost. I don't think it's a little fair, but <laughs> we live in Florida, we shouldn't get a frost. But uh, for sure, people in North Florida and most people in the country do get frost. So when it comes to planting things that are frost hardy, you can plant green onions, kale. Kale is a great thing. I, I love dinosaur kale. It can literally last you for a long time. It grows well in the cool weather and in the heat. So that's a good one. Brussels sprouts, they do take a while to grow. So be patient with those. Broccoli, definitely start broccoli. I already have some broccoli out, but you can definitely start those in January from seed. Lettuce, I definitely recommend growing all types of lettuces, but definitely spreading them out, planting some seeds every week, once every week or once every two weeks, just to have a good succession planting of lettuce because you can get a good two or three or four maybe cuts from them as they come and grow. So always remember to uh, harvest around the lettuce, leaving the middle so it can keep growing. The lettuce is a, a go-to of mine to grow here in January. Bok choy or any type of Asian green. Um, I love bok choy. You can grow all types of bok choy. There's um, the big, there's small, uh, many little bok choys. You can fit a lot in a small space and um, it's just a great green to grow for beginners. So definitely start bok choy from seed in January. Arugula. Ar arugula is a great plant uh, to start from seed in January. I love growing arugula with lettuce, just to have like the, a good green salad mix. So arugula is, is really another go-to for me. Cauliflower, you can start cauliflower from seed. Celery is a good one. Chinese cabbage, I'm growing a lot of Chinese cabbage right now. I really want to make kimchi with Chinese cabbage. That's my goal for growing them, but definitely uh, Chinese cabbage is a great, uh, crop to grow or start from seed in January. And spinach. A lot of people sometimes don't have great success in, with spinach here in Florida, but I mean, you can try to grow them from seed. They love the cool weather. So try spinach. Mustards. You can grow mustards in January. Swiss chard is a good one. I love Swiss chard, especially rainbow Swiss chard. It just brings so much color to your garden and it's an amazing green, so healthy for you, so nutritious. So Swiss chard is, is a really good um, crop to start from seed in January. When it comes to your root crops to start from seed in January, beets is a great crop to grow. Carrots is a definitely go-to. I grow carrots every couple of weeks and you can grow carrots in raised beds, you can grow them in containers. They're very diverse, so all you gotta do is sow them wherever you want to plant them. So definitely carrots is a is a great thing to start. And turnips, you can grow turnips from seed in January. You can grow radishes, and you can start potatoes. Um, usually people start potatoes in December, but you can get away with starting them in January. What I mean starting them is growing potatoes that are already sprouted. So a potato that has those sprouts coming out, you can plant them um, in a container or in the ground. You can start some warm crops in January as they will take long to grow and kind of be mindful of frost. So you can start peppers, you can start tomatoes as well. You can start tomatoes in a way where you just pick your uh, tomatoes that you have right now, uh, which are suckers that grow in between um, the main stem and just pick one and you can put them in water or in the dirt to uh, grow roots and then put them in a pot and wait for a little bit until the frost has passed to plant them out. So definitely you can grow tomatoes from seed, but you can also co you can also grow tomatoes with cuttings. So that's a good way to start tomatoes and peppers. 
watermelon, you can start from seed. Cucumbers, you can start from seed. Mind you that these crops are not frost hardy, so you're gonna have to keep them inside until you get a frost. And there is no chance of frost after because they will die in the cold weather. You can start cantaloupe as well, zucchini, winter squash is a good one. You can start winter peas, like snap peas, you can try those, and corn, you can start growing corn from seed. But aside from your green vegetables and fruits, you should grow some flowers. If you followed me in the past, you have heard me say that I was a flower farmer for a little bit. I, I used to have a flower farm and grew lots of flowers. So that gave me some great experience in growing all types of flowers here in Central Florida. And so when it comes to growing vegetables, put some flowers in your garden as well to help bring those bees in to pollinate. And it's just good, obviously, for um, your gardens. It could be intimidating to start flowers from seed if you're not used to growing flowers from seed, but it's really this, just the same as growing any other vegetable. It, when it comes to beginner gardeners, you can grow flowers um, that are not too hard. And so when it comes to flowers, you can start calendula seeds. A calendula is a great flower. It's a medicinal flower not just used in, obviously you can put it in a bouquet, but you can use the flowers um, in many products, body products especially. I like to grow calendula and as soon as they open, I pick the flower up from the stem, from the stem out of the stem, just having the flower itself. I wash them and I flip them upside down and I dry them as flowers and I put them in oil as soon as they're completely dry and I infuse that to make calendula oil. So that's what I use calendula for. You don't have to do that obviously, but it's a great medicinal plant. It's also an edible flower, so you can use calendula petals to decorate um, when you bake, especially cakes and things like that. So it's very multi-purpose flower. It's a great flower to start in January. It loves the cool temperatures. It can't take a frost, but it loves the cool temperature. Sweet alyssum. Sweet alyssum you can grow from seed. It's actually a great companion plant for lettuce. So if you plant alyssum next to lettuce, it will do well um, and help the uh, help your lettuce grow. Straw flower. A lot of people will say straw flower is easy to grow. Even with someone like me who grows um, a lot of different things, I had a lot of issues growing straw flower from seed for some reason. I don't know if it was me or the seed, but um, this year I had no problems, which I mean, I've never had um straw flower come up for me in seed so this year was the first time i did and i didn't do anything different so don't get frustrated if it doesn't work out you just try try again and maybe one day you'll get lucky but really straw flower is another great flower multi-purpose flower it is also an edible flower it's great for drying using it in crafts things like that so uh, definitely straw flower is a beautiful and multi-purpose flower to grow and will grow great in the garden even if you just want some pretty flowers in your garden. Snapdragons. I'm growing a good amount of snapdragons actually right now that are already in the ground but if I wanted to I can start them from seed uh, now. It'll probably be the last month that I can start them from seed. They do love cool temperatures. As long as you cover them in the frost they'll be fine. It's a beautiful plant. They take a while to grow you won't get them till spring, uh, probably March or April, if you start them from a seed now. So snapdragons uh, really do not like the heat. So I would say if you're gonna grow snapdragon from seed, I would grow them like today. Dahlias, so dahlias is not a beginner uh, flower to grow because it's really hard to grow dahlias. Here in Florida, it's not impossible, it just might need a little bit more attention and work if you want a challenge. Uh, dahlias are beautiful flowers. They grow so well everywhere else here too, but it, it, like I said, it's you really need to uh, perfect that. You can grow dahlias from seed or from a tuber. Um, with a tuber, um, you can definitely look that up on how to uh, do that correctly, but definitely with a tuber and a seed and even a cutting if you have it, you can start dahlias uh, right now. And they do not like frost, so make sure you plant them out officially after the chances of frost has passed. You can start black-eyed Susans, love those flowers. Green Anne's lace seeds, 
right now in January. The swallowtail caterpillars love Queensland's lace. Obviously, they'll, they'll go ahead and eat them up, but um, if you want them for bouquets, that's not too good. But if you just want them to, uh, in your garden and, and help feed the insects, that's a great one to grow, especially for caterpillars. You can grow cress. It's a beautiful filler flower. You can also start eucalyptus. You can start bachelor buttons. They're beautiful flowers. They love the cool temps. Forget-me-nots um, is another beautiful flower. You can start from seed in January and status. I do have a lot of status growing as well. It loves the cool temperatures. You can start that from seed in January. I also missed eggplant. I missed that on my list. So you can grow eggplant as well in, um, in January. When it comes to herbs, I don't have rules for herbs. I grow herbs all year round. If it's in a container, I'll just bring it in. It's in my garden, I'll, I'll cover it because they don't like frost, but you can start herbs, all types of herbs, fennel, dill, parsley, basil, thyme. Basil does not take a frost for sure. And um, parsley loves cold weather. It can take a frost um, and dill too. So thyme is a good one uh, to start from seed when it comes to herbs. So I just like to grow all types of herbs um, all year round. So always herbs for me, uh, you can grow seed, especially in January. I would love to know what your growing zone uh, is and what you're starting in the month of January. Um, if you're transplanting um, plants that you already bought or you're growing from seed, I would love to know that. Put in the comments below for other people to see. And I hope everybody has a great gardening month in January. Get all those seeds in, indoor seeds, outdoor seeds, whatever you can do. I mean, it's a great, great time to start growing food in January. As always, thank you for watching. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, I took a little break. So hopefully I can start back up again with all the gardening uh, videos uh, that I have that I want to make uh, for this year. So I just want to thank everybody for watching and supporting my channel. I just love doing it. It's, it's just a, one of the great joys I have showing people how to grow food, flowers soon. I will add that uh, to my list, growing flowers and harvesting and preserving and all the things. So thank you for all your support. Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a great bountiful garden in 2024. All we can do is try our best grow as much as we can. So see you guys in the next video. Stay well, friends. How come the stars come to shine when it's